we are going to understand case number 2 of maximum power transfer theorem for DC circuits and this case we will understand with the help of this problem. When you observe the network in the problem, you will find the load is fixed. It is not variable, it is fixed. And if you remember in case number 1, load was variable but here it is fixed. And you can also notice that one resistance of the network is variable which was not happening in case number 1. So what is the case number 2 of maximum power transfer theorem for DC circuits? The case number 2 is load is fixed but the source is variable. We will see what has to be done in case number 2 to transfer the maximum power to the fixed load. So let us read the problem. In the circuit given below, the value of R, this resistance, required for the transfer of maximum power to the load having the resistance of 3 ohms is. There are 4 options in the question and we are required to choose the correct one. So let us solve this problem. We know in case number 1, the maximum power will get transferred to the load when it is equal to RTH of the network. First, I am going to solve this problem following this result. So, let us find out RTH. To find out RTH, we will open circuit the load and we will short circuit the source. We will have the network like this. Now, from here you can see that resistance RTH is equal to R in parallel with 6. RTH is equal to R in parallel with 6 or I can say RTH is equal to 6R divided by 6 plus R. Now following this result, maximum power will be transferred to RL when it is equal to RTH. So RL which is 3 ohms should be equal to RTH which is 6R divided by 6 plus R. So we will have 6R divided by 6 plus R equal to 3. When you simplify it, you will have the value of R equal to 6 ohms. Now when you match the options, you will find option C is correct. Now we will move on to the verification of this answer. I will assume current through load as I sub L and we know maximum power will be transferred to RL when IL is maximum because power is equal to square of current multiplied to the resistance and IL in this case is equal to 10 volts divided by R in parallel with 6 R is equal to 6, so we have 6 in parallel with 6, giving us 3 in series with 3. So we have 3 plus 3, giving us 6. So 10 over 6 should be the maximum value of current IL for which we are getting maximum power delivered to RL. Now I am going to explain you the main concept of case 2. So understand it properly. We have RTH equal to 6R divided by 6 plus R. R is variable, resistance R is variable and therefore RTH is also variable. Now it is not difficult to understand that IL will be maximum when RTH will be minimum and minimum will be zero and RTH can be zero when R is equal to zero. And in this scenario when R is equal to zero, current IL will be equal to 10 divided by 3 amperes which is more than this current. So this current is not our maximum current and therefore maximum power will not be delivered to RL when R is equal to 6 ohms. This answer is not correct. Maximum power will be delivered to RL when R is equal to 0. Option A is the correct option. When R is equal to 0, this means it is short circuited. No current will flow through 6 ohm resistor. 
Therefore, all the current will flow through load resistor making IL equal to 10 divided by 3 which is maximum. So this result is not valid when we have a fixed load and variable source. So now we can have the statement for case number 2 of maximum power transfer theorem for DC circuits. The statement is whenever we have fixed load and the source is variable, the maximum power will be transferred to the load when the source resistance is zero or as minimum as possible. So this is all for this problem and the case number two of maximum power transfer theorem for DC circuits.